Hi, this is just a small update on uh, WPGTK's features with version 4.95. Uh, I've added a new feature which lets you export and import color schemes in JSON format. Uh, you can use the terminal.sexy format, which is uh, basically this format, which places the colors in a in a JSON format, and it lets you place 15 colors in this array. In WPGDK, we'll mostly ignore these two colors, but anyway. Uh, this is how it works. You go ahead and open the user interface, select any uh, wallpaper that you want. You go to the colors tab, you click on import, and you can select the JSON. And as you can see, the colors were loaded successfully over here. And now that you're over here, you can either auto adjust so it fits better the WPGTK uh, look on every software. You can shuffle them around, which I'm not going to do because I like the way it is by default. And you can edit the colors as you would with any other color scheme. Then you save it, and then you set it. And as you can see, the color scheme is affecting everything in here. So I can do this with either uh, terminal.sexy format or the format that Pywall usually uses. This is one of the color schemes that I had that I like. So I decided to back it up and I can just easily import that color scheme and save it. And now I have the old color scheme that I had in my old setup ready to use. So this opens the gate to new possibilities mostly uh, archiving these color schemes, uh, sharing these color schemes, basically. And uh, you can also do these actions via the command line. You can export a color scheme. So I like uh, Landry one. So as you can see, uh, this one is in the WPGTK format, which is the Pywall format, not in the terminal.sexy format, because this is a, a Pywall uh, JSON that was exported. And in order to import a color scheme, you can select the wallpaper that you want to apply it to and do this. As you can see, we have the same color scheme that we had before in Landry. So that's nice. We were able to back it up and make use of it later. This way, uh, users can now save their favorite color scheme and share it around. And as you remember, you can easily edit your color scheme to be whatever you like. So you won't have an issue um, trying to get a nice color scheme from an image. You can just uh, import a color scheme. Let's say I want a default color scheme. As you can see, it's a really nice color scheme, pretty uh, standard stuff. But the image wouldn't uh, give me a nice color scheme otherwise because it's so uh, present, the color orange in the whole image. But thanks to this, I'm able to have a nice color scheme and have any wallpaper that I want. And don't forget that you can also set a different color scheme with a set wallpaper. So it doesn't matter if I have a, a wallpaper with a nice color scheme, I can just go ahead and use that same wallpaper with an orange color scheme. As you will be able to see, uh, the color scheme remain and the wallpaper changed. So I guess what I'm saying is uh, that you can stop worrying about if a color scheme is good or bad when it's generated from Pywall because you can easily generate your own color schemes and share them around. I hope you enjoyed these changes and any feedback will be appreciated.
But before I go, I wanted to give you a better idea of how uh, the new import color scheme feature works. So I'm going to uh, try to download a color scheme that I seem uh, that I like from terminal.sexy. As you can see, there's uh, there's a bunch of color schemes over here. And you can choose any one of them in order to import them to WPGTK. All of this is basically yours to take in WPGTK and apply it to every uh, application in your stack. So I'm liking this one, I guess. Um, let's try with a solarized one. Let's export it in a JSON scheme uh, format. I'm going to download it as solarized JSON. And I'm going to open the user interface just because I feel lazy to actually add it in the command line. I'm going to go here and see, here it is. Okay, so in order for it to fit uh, the WPGTK standard color scheme thing, I'm going to click on auto adjust. You don't have to do that. It's just my preference. I'm going to apply it. As you can see, um, basically everything now is solarized in my system. So I guess that's a big plus. I'm not a big fan of this color scheme. But anyway, um, you can also adjust it to be a light theme. So I'm guessing we'll get some kind of uh, light solarized scheme. Let's see. Well, kind of, but you get the idea. You're able to do this with any color scheme that you want. It doesn't matter what kind of color scheme it is. Let's do it one more time. Let's look for another one. I'm going to use this one and I'm going to export it. Um, I think this is called tomorrow. But this time I'm going to use the, the command line. As you can see, I didn't have to adjust this one but I can easily do that and as you can see you get some kind of strange things going on in the user interface because my themes are thought out to be used with auto adjusted color schemes like so as you can see everything seems a little bit more normal right now and I'm not like the fact that it's too bright so I'm going to step that down a little bit I'm going to auto adjust one more time I'm going to set it one more time and now it's perfect. So you can see how easy it really is to set up a color scheme and apply it to everything that needs to be applied to. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll keep you up to speed with new features that come with WPGTK along the way. And that's it.